Hello everyone. Welcome to Food Tech Network. Food Tech Network has brought up a very good opportunity for you all. We are going to begin an online course targeting the FSSAI Central Food Safety Officer, Technical Officer and Food Analyst examination. Now this course will be curated by a team of experts which will be in detail analyzing the previous year question papers, the syllabus the latest exam pattern and all the necessary details which are needed to crack this examination so let us discuss the important features which you are going to get in our very course this course is going to cover entire syllabus which has been prescribed by fssai along with that we will also be providing you the study material and lecture notes which you can avail any time and read to revise the concepts now the classes will be live but will also be recorded so that if you want to have a look at the lecture once again you can still go back and look at it we will also be providing you not one not two but a total of 15 mock test papers and five of them individually targeting the technical officer central food safety officer and junior analyst examination now why should you choose food tech network for this course now the food tech network we come up with very unique features which you are not going to find anywhere else. We have a keen focus on concept clarity with quality learning. We cannot compromise with quality and the level of study material we will be going to provide you. The videos which we will be screening on Zoom will are going to be available in the recorded mode also. So that if you are not able to have the lecture at the particular time, you can again visit uh, our site and have the recorded lecture seen. We will also be uh, having regular practice uh, questions just after the completion of class so that you can assess your learning. There will be live doubt classes where you can put forth uh, your doubts, your queries, your questions to us and we will be very happy to solve them. Now all this will be coming at the convenience of your home. You need not come to us. We will be coming to you via online mode. The most important part which bothers most of us is who is going to teach you now the teachers which we are bringing to you are not just normal food technology professors these are actual people who have cleared these very examination and are now well settled at these posts uh, we have brought to you five different teachers miss achana gautam who happens to be senior food analyst at fssai with 12 plus years of working experience then we have Ms. Ashwarya Dixit, uh, who happens to be alumni of Niftam Kulli, Haryana. She is also a UGC SRF and PhD scholar. She has four plus years of teaching experience and she has been teaching B.Tech and M.Tech food technology students. We also have Dr. Yogesh Kumar, who is an assistant professor with five plus years of teaching experience. Ms. Swami Swarnima Day, who is an assistant professor with three plus years of teaching experience. Ms. Surbhi Tripathi, who is designated junior research scientist with 5 plus years of teaching experience. Now, apart from basic lectures, we will also be organizing guest lectures from the people at good designations in FSSCI. We will be having 5 different guest lectures and uh, as you can see on your screens, we will be bringing up Ms. Seema Shukla, who is director of Export Inspection Consul Council of India. We will be having Ms. Varshika, who is the technical officer at FSSAI. We will be having Ms. Sheetla Devi, who is technical officer at FSSAI. Ms. Ritika Khattar, who is food consultant at Ministry of Food Processing Industries. Uh, we will also be having Mr. Deepanjan Patil, who is DGM at Hershey's India Private Limited, a very renowned food company. Now, let us see what all we are going to cover in our course. So, turn by turn, we will discuss all three papers. First of all, we'll talk about the food analyst examination. Now, food analyst examination has three papers. Uh, two papers are the normal theoretical written paper and one is the practical paper. So, these two paper, paper one and paper two are worth 100 marks each. And there will be 100 questions in the sections and one question will be having one mark. In paper one, as you can see, we will be having food laws and standards in India, then planning organization and setup of food analyst laboratory, NABL, the National Accreditation Bureau of Laboratory. We will be having uh, the principles of food preservation, processing, packaging, labeling, claims, and principles of nutrition. And at last, we will be having food hygiene, sanitation, codex, international food control systems. 
WHO, FAO, HACCP, quality controls, etc. In paper 2, we will be having food chemistry, food additives, antioxidants and contaminants. We will be having instrumental methods of analysis and food microbiology too. Now, if you lose one mark in any of these questions, there will be a negative marking or if you uh, happen to uh, make one question incorrect, you will lose 0 0.25. That is one fourth uh, of the total marks allotted to each question. Right? And the duration will be two hours for each paper. And 35% uh, will be the weightage given to each paper separately. Okay. And the third paper which I talked about will be a practical paper. So it will run for two days and uh, three different components will be allotted to the practical paper. The methods of analysis, then practical proficiency and viva voce, making it a total of 100 marks. Right. So if you see in total, the questions will be for 100 marks and the so question will be 100 and the total marks will be 200. So this is how the breakup of food analyst exam is done. Now if you talk about the detailed syllabus then food laws and standards as you can see on your screen we will be having the FSS Act, Agriculture Protection uh, Produce Act, Export Quality Control and Inspection Act, we will be having BIS that is Bureau of Indian Standards, then uh, other acts like Legal Methodology Act, international food control systems codex and all etc then the planning organization will be simply based on the uh, standards uh, laid down by ISO 17025 then the principles of food preservation will be very simple the uh, various processes like canning thermal treatments freezing and all those things then packaging labeling requirements and legal compliance and last the food hygiene and sanitation which generally HSCCP, GMP, GHP, GLPs etc. So this is the syllabus of food chemistry, additives, antioxidants and contaminants. You can take a screenshot. This is the syllabus of food additives. Now these are the contents of food microbiology and instrumentation. Now after this the TO and CFSO has a different pattern. In the part A of this uh, particular paper, we will be having journal intelligence, which will be based on problem solving analysis, difference, space visualization, classification, AP, then discriminating relationship concepts, judgments, analogies, arithmetic reasoning, etc. GK or general awareness will include concepts from sports and scientific research, current events, Indian constitution, history, culture, geography, economics of India, general political science, etc. Uh, you will also be having content on English and language comprehension like parts of speech, synonyms, antonyms, questions on comprehension, one word substitution, spelling error, prepositions, conjunctions, idioms and phrases, grammar, vocabulary. In computer literacy, you will be having basic knowledge of Google Doc, email, digital signature, social media handles like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp, etc. MS Office, all the parts like Word. PowerPoint, Excel, etc. The part B will include the functional or the core food knowledge, which will include Indian and international food laws, then FSSCI, its role, its constitution, etc. Then principles will include the principles of food preservation, processing, packaging, basic food chemistry, and their role in human nutrition, etc. So this is the complete breakdown. You can see the part A, part B. So 180 minutes around will be given to part A and if you see the overall marks distribution then it will be 10 10 10 10 each overall 40 marks for the general aptitude and overall 80 marks for the functional knowledge so both of them constitute equal weightage in this now if you see this part 2 in CFSO exam TO exam or food and list exam this part 2 is almost same you have the functional knowledge so while studying one you can target both the examination now after knowing the syllabus a very unique question which may come to your mind that who are eligible for this course so we don't have any concrete or very uh, threshold kind of uh, eligibility criteria any student any food tech or other branch student who is willing to give the examination can apply for it and we will you will be having a total of 200 hour course study and uh, the price will be 6999 now if you see other organizations offering they do not offer this huge time 200 hours is a lot of time for this 
particular uh, screening and particular or uh, education because they may teach you for one month they may teach you for two months they are not going to give you this much time at this less price right so the batch will be beginning from 1st of august 2023 and from monday to friday each day you will be having one hour class from 8 to 9 pm so what are you waiting for just go to our website and register for this course to be very confident to clear this examination all the best